When you've been living in a project van build and you've been under construction while you're, you know, living in it, it's kind of hard to remember where it all started because you're constantly seeing the new updated version of the van. And so I kind of want to go on a journey and just see what it was like uh, when I bought the van. Check it out. Hi there, I'm Erin, and I did something that some people might find a little crazy. I bought a step van. Check it out. It's a 1988 Chevy P30 series with a 6.2 liter diesel engine. And you know what? It used to be the SWAT van for the city of Tukwila. Check it out. Official use only. I know, it's so cool, right? But you're probably asking, why did I buy a step van? Well, here it is. I took the plunge and I joined the tiny house movement. Yes, you heard me right. I'm gonna live in it. Well, you might not see the vision yet, but you will. As you can see, I already started the demolition process. Here's my bulkhead slider door, which usually goes between the cab and the cargo area. It's just too big for the space. And as you can see, it's a step van. It's already pretty small. And I gotta make 15 feet by six and a half feet livable space. So the key is using all the space that you have. So right now, once I finish with the demolition process, I'm going to get in there and get her primed and painted and watch how this step van turns into what I'm gonna call home sweet home. Okay guys, first coat's done. Now all I need to do is let it dry completely and then I am gonna go the opposite direction. I'm gonna go perpendicular with the last coat. Um, this first time I went across the van, now I'm gonna go straight with the van. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do once it dries. Out with the old, in with the new. Gotta get this thing out so I can put in my new fantastic fan. I'm so glad that I did. But I didn't realize how much stuff was gonna come out of this compartment when I was putting in the new fan, but I'm sure glad I got it installed. It's been a game changer. It's 20 degrees cooler in here now than before. As I've been on the journey of this fan build, I have learned some pretty valuable things along the way, such as this. <laughs> so when you go to the store to get drill bits, get the ones that say hardened steel, not the ones that have a picture of wood, rock, mm, some sort of metal, because they do, they say that. And if you get that package, they're just gonna smoke away like that. Bye. Also, I've learned that you might not get it right the first time, like this. <laughs>
Okay, due to the nature of my van, it being 1988, it's vintage rustic appeal, um, it's been giving me some challenges. And the bed um, hasn't been an easy process because nothing's straight in this van. And so we tried to do some unistrut with some rollerblade wheels, but we couldn't get the tube uh, sides of the bed to work in tandem. And we realized that wasn't gonna work and it was gonna require two sets of pulleys and the cost was starting to add up and that's not gonna work for the budget. So bed frame number two and this roller blade idea is out. really simple process. I just remove the carabiners from each side. This keeps it from not going anywhere when I drive. So when I need to bring it down, I take the carabiners out, uh, hold on to the middle, pull this out, secure it now in the middle portion, pull this out, make sure I got a hold of the rope. I'm going to let gravity pull it out itself and I'm going to pull the bed down into its place just like that. Now the bed is in the down position. My shower install was one of the funnest projects in my van build. I had the opportunity to work with some toxic chemicals. Uh, the scientist in me really came out to play. Uh, it was really fun. So I put toilet bowl cleaner all over this corrugated metal, added the steel wool, and put it in places where I wanted to see change. What's cool about this project is that when I start spraying the muriatic acid, which is like a catalyst, uh, to make rust where the steel wool is, um, it's gonna turn out really amazing. And as you can see, we're already starting to see the rust process happen. It turned out so good. And this is what I wanted for my backsplash or my shower. And this is what it looked like before I put it up. Then I installed the shower pan, which was a really fun project for my brother and I. I kind of wanted something unique in my van build and my brother came up with this really cool idea and welded two radio flyer wagons together to give it the width at the base so I would have something wide enough to stand in. And then I used the truck bed liner to give it a decent coat around the bottom of it. Uh, two purposes was to make it soft for my feet to, to stand in because it was an old rusty wagon and secondly it would make it waterproof and would prevent leaks but it turned out so good and as you can see the rust spots i was able to put on that metal uh, it really gave it a cool patina a really awesome look and if you were to find something like that at a flea market you would have to pay like a hundred dollars i like to save money My vanity has also been a really cool project and as you see here I found this old stool that has like a swivel top that can kind of go up or down and um, I wanted it to match the rest of it so I painted it white and then we took a chunk out of that vanity and it looks like this now. Pretty cool. The next thing to do was the flooring and I've been holding on to this flooring since nearly after I got the van. I've been getting little bits uh, along the way and to get this project done it just tied the whole thing together. It really made it look like a house now. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. It really is wild seeing the bare bones of it and then watching it change. I mean I really did forget where it started and I'm just amazed with all of the little changes and tweaks and the things that have been added to it and I'm excited to, to let this really uh, 
feel like home sweet home. And I just graduated from college. I want to put my diploma up with uh, some books. This area is going to be my library. I'm really excited. It's turning out better than I could have expected. Need more countertop? No problem. Click it into place. There you have it. Just as easy to put down. Great feature. One of the key things about living tiny is to increase your outdoor living space. Get some sort of seating available where you can entertain uh, because when you're living tiny, you can't really do that a whole lot inside. And so I never had built a deck before and you know what, I thought I'd try it. I was so happy with how it turned out that I realized I needed a bigger deck. <laughs> and it was going so well and so I just kept building it out. Check out my deck videos. I lay out all the tips and tricks on how to do it yourself. This is something I'd never done before and I was super proud of how it turned out. Check it out. Okay, this week's content creator shout out goes to Lamont over at Driving Home. This guy has converted out a step van and a box truck. He seems to be pretty knowledgeable uh, with his construction skills and all of that. He's got a lot of cool content. And one of my favorite videos he's got over there is a rocket stove project. Uh, I've always wanted to do one since I've seen it. I've seen it one other time. I know it's only been once, but um, I think they're really cool. And I think they'd be a great way to have heat in a small space, but also to cook with. And um, I didn't know you could cook with it until I saw his video. Uh, but they're really cool. Um, yeah, so get over there, check out his channel. Let him know Aaron from Repurposed Adventure Sencha and have a great day.